my knife skills on a level from one to ten are, god dang it, just playing. Hey y'all, it's Luke Bryan here, and I'm gonna chop as many onions as I can in 10 minutes while answering your burning questions. And I'm gonna do this and try not to cry. Here we go. How often do I chop onions? I love to cook. We've been quarantined. I've been cooking a lot during quarantine. An onion every six days. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. I have no idea how many pairs of cowboy boots I own. I would say it would be upwards, upwards of 30 or more. My favorite pair is an old pair of, um, Oh my gosh. It's an old pair of blue Casey's that I did my original radio tour in. Is this all you got? I am most proud of my buddy Cole Swindell, who was an opener of mine, and gosh, he's got like 12 number ones now. I'm an up and coming female artist that I would love to work with. Um, I'm very excited. Um, this year I was going to um, have Runaway June out and Kaylee Hammock. I was gonna have two, two female groups out, and uh, but Kaylee Hammock is from Ellaville, Georgia, which is close to me, so let's do this, Kaylee. See, so I'm showing y'all a little onion trick. Um, I'm most excited about watching the fans sing One Margarita. I have never gotten to even perform One Margarita for my fans at all. Three margarita shot. I certainly pop into 32 Bridge Bar when I'm in Nashville because I love myself and I love seeing my own bar. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's getting me now. Put you on some hot dogs. All right, here we go. When was the last time you cried? I actually cried yesterday. Um, but I can't go into that. But I actually, it was like snot bubble crap. That's my hidden talent. I have no hidden talents. I, I have, the only way I can get to where I'm at is to literally show every talent I got. I can't hide any, because it's just I don't have time. The funniest prank I've ever played on Caroline is definitely the train horn. It's about to get train horned and she doesn't know. <laughs> plan a prank, a lot of times the pranks don't necessarily work, but when you do them spontaneously, it just worked. My train horn did the trick, and uh, she did escape injury. The worst job I ever have was my dad owns a peanut mill, and I had to shovel out rotten peanuts down in an elevator room that the peanuts had been sitting in water for about five years. There were it was about, um, I would say, one ton of maggots that I had to shovel in a bucket, and they pulled it up, and they fell on my head for two days. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Woo! This is getting there. When I'm on the road, uh, I always, my most favorite southern meal is always fried chicken, uh, done my mama style in a cast iron skillet with uh, little bitty chickens, you know, not those big steroided up things that look like a half of a turkey. So, yeah, I don't know, that was weird. Anyway, margaritas are definitely up there with all other cocktails, primarily beer. The problem with having one margarita as a hit, um, now everybody wants to send me three margaritas in a shot and um, yes. Uh, people are trying to assassinate me with liquor. The craziest thing that's ever happened at a concert is probably um, my concerts in North Carolina. I think I went three years in a row and fell off stages three years in a row in North Carolina. Luke took another tumble off the stage over the weekend, and for those of us keeping count, that makes it three times this year that he's fallen off the stage. Stitches and um, blunt force trauma to 
my shin bones, my head. Yeah, so probably falling off stages. The last person I called was my booking agent. Um, and we were acting like kids at Christmas because we're going on a Western trout fishing trip on my tour bus for 12 days. Something I've always dreamed to do. And uh, yes, we were giggling like 12 year old, uh, 12 year old boys waiting on, on Christmas Eve night. Three things I always have in my fridge. Coffee Mate Hazelnut Coffee Creamer. Yogurt in the morning for the old system. And um, minced onions. How many margaritas is too many margaritas? That's a loaded question because how big is the margarita glass? Is it one of these? Because three of these is too many. <laughs> the first thing I ever learned how to cook is when I was 10 years old, I would get home from school and fry or out of shoestring french fries uh, in, in peanut oil. Uh, totally a safe behavior for a 10 year old, don't you think? The first thing I do when I wake up will tinkle. Don't say, don't use tinkle. <laughs> the first thing I do when I wake up is, um, you know, everybody's gotta pee when they wake up. And um, then I go straight to the coffee pot and I sit there and stare at my coffee. This all of a sudden went to another level. I'm done. You can buy these online. Good luck to whoever does this next and make sure you subscribe to Delish.